Did you know that on average, America consumes 50 billion burgers a year? You heard me right, 50 billion burgers. That's a lot of burgers. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make low carb burgers, specifically low carb fajita cheeseburgers. Mm, doesn't that sound great? So let's get cooking while I disappear. You're going to need four low-carb hamburger buns. Check out my recipe for fluffy low-carb hamburger buns. I'll put the link in the description. One pound lean ground beef. Break up the ground beef so it can easily be stirred. Add half cup low-carb breadcrumbs or rolled oats. Stir until the breadcrumbs are fully distributed throughout the beef. Add one egg. Stir until egg and meat are fully combined. Drizzle in one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. Stir until meat is fully coated with sauce. Sprinkle in one fourth teaspoon seasoned pepper. Make sure it is seasoned pepper, not plain. Stir to fully distribute the pepper. Stir in half teaspoon of seasoned salt. Again, make sure it's seasoned salt, not plain. Stir to fully distribute the salt. Sprinkle in one teaspoon garlic powder. Stir to fully combine seasonings. Remember, any of these seasonings can be adjusted to your personal taste. Slowly fold in 3 fourths cup shredded cheese. I usually use Colby, but it's up to you what your personal taste is as far as cheese goes. Stir to fully distribute cheese. Make sure there are no large clumps of cheese hidden in your meat. You don't want huge clumps in there. Next, we're going to shape our patties. Place one-fourth of the meat mixture into a patty press and press down to flatten the burger. You can also shape these patties by hand into whatever shape or thickness you want. Continue doing this until all the meat has been shaped. You should end up with four large patties. Place patties on grill and grill four to five minutes on each side for no pink, or grill them until your desired level of doneness. Next, we're gonna do some avocado spread. In a medium mixing bowl, mash together two ripe avocados until they're creamy. Add two tablespoons sour cream and use a fork to stir the sour cream until it's fully combined with the avocado. Pour in 1 fourth cup salsa and stir the salsa until fully incorporated in the spread. Sprinkle with seasoned salt and seasoned pepper. Again, make sure it is seasoned salt and seasoned pepper, not plain. Sprinkle in half teaspoon garlic powder and half teaspoon onion powder. Shake in garlic salt to the desired taste you want. Stir together all the seasonings until they are fully distributed and to your taste. To assemble the burger, spread a light layer of salsa on the bottom bun, then a light layer of avocado spread on the top bun. 
Add the patty, and if you'd like, top the warm patty with extra cheese. I like my cheese. Add a lettuce leaf of your choice. I use romaine, but again, it's up to your taste what you want. Sprinkle the top of the patty with chopped onions. I use red onions, but again, it's up to your choice. Layer strips of red bell peppers on top of the onions and cover with the top bun. All these additional toppings are optional, but they make for one awesome burger. And that's the recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like, you can leave me a comment. If you want to know how to make any new recipes without the use of white flour, white sugar, let me know and I'll do my best to put that out there for you. Also remember to tune in every Friday for brand new videos of tips and tricks on how to make your low-carb living easier. And as always, keep cooking.